Hi, I'm Jared Falk, and today I'm gonna to teach you a cool linear pattern that I've been working on. The pattern is extremely basic, but moved around the kit like you saw in the intro, it can be very, very impressive, and uh, it can sound great in certain musical situations. So the basic feel is basically just right, left, right, left, kick, kick, right, left. And this is played as 30 second notes. So originally I came upon this just as a one beat 30 second note fill that sounded like this. And then I started experimenting with it and started keeping it on the snare and then moving it around the drums and then actually doing the sweeping for doing for two beats or three beats or four beats or however long, but then you can come up with some crazy combinations, um, some stuff that sounds like this. So let's go through exactly what the fill is. I'm just gonna do it on my leg, and I'm gonna tap the floor, okay? So it's right, left, right, left, kick, kick, right, left. That's the fill, and that repeats. For one bar, you have 32 notes, so you could do a four beat fill, you could do a three beat fill, two beat fill, whatever you want, okay? So just practice it with me right now. Right, left, right, left, kick, kick, right, left. Right, left, right, left, kick, kick, right, left, right, left, right, left, kick, kick, right, left. And that's the fill, okay? So I've given five exercises here, I'm gonna play them slow and fast for you, okay? So at 60 beats per minute, and then at 100 beats per minute. And then you guys can take this and do whatever you want with it. I'm sure you could do some crazy like linear gospel type fills on the hi-hat um, between the ride cymbal and the hi-hat. You could do some insane stuff. These are literally just five basic examples. And so I'd absolutely love to see your guys' videos and see where you take this, okay? But for now, I'm just gonna run through these exercises for you at both slow and fast tempos.
So those are the five basic exercises that I'm gonna start you guys on. I know you guys can take it up to a whole new level. Uh, just a quick couple tips uh, about actually moving it around the drums. When you do number five, you're gonna notice your right hand on the snare, left hand, floor tom, floor tom. Then you do two kicks, and you do floor tom, floor tom, and now you have to get back to the snare. And so that's where the real challenge is, and that's where it's gonna be um, you might hit your hand a lot, you might drop a lot of sticks, <laughs> you might hit a lot of rims, but this, you know, in and of itself, just, you know, learning the fill is one thing, but then you also get the benefit of learning to move around the drum set and learn your drum set, learn your exact setup, and you'd be amazed once you start pushing yourself at how many more areas your drumming will start to improve. Uh, just because of this little thing with your right hand having to come back to the snare like that, that helped me a ton. And so, that's the end of this video, guys. Please uh, let me know what you think of it. Let me know what you think of this, Phil. If you have a video response or if you want to share your video with me to look at, please just leave it in the comments below. I'd absolutely love to check it out. Um, we've got some big things coming up here um, regarding drum fills, and so I can't wait to share them with you. So thanks so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys again soon.